Hi, I'm Bob Beck. I'm the Director of Baseball Operations here at T3 Performance, as well as one of our 18U T3 race coaches for our travel baseball organization. And in this drill today, we're going to do it's a it's a, one of my one of my favorite non-swinging drills, but you can also do it in a variation in a cage with with some swings. I'm going to go through both, but this is a drill that hitters can use at any time. I recommend to all my young hitters to do this two, three, four, five minutes a day. It, and it, the whole object of this drill is to get hitters to focus on that lower half. Let the lower half control the upper body, and always maintain your athleticism through your swing. So in this drill, we'll have we'll actually have Dave here. Kind of take the bat and kind of put it in a rowing position with his knob in his in his top hand and kind of tuck it underneath his chest. And the main thing with hitting, when you when you see a good good hitter, you see them get to this good tilt position. They're in that launch position like we've gone through in other drills, and then they maintain that tilt all the way through that swing. And you're going to see that the head the head is controlled by your front shoulder, your front foot. Here we've already got the front foot down, pretty much square to the pitcher. And we're going to lead more with the back side as opposed to pulling that front shoulder. Because when that front shoulder rises and pulls out, the head follows it. Okay, so, so when you get into your lower half, okay, then, then you're going to be able to keep your head down on the ball. And that's how you focus on the head. Cause and effect. The effect of the head pulling out always has a cause of something else going wrong in your body, whether it be your front foot, your front shoulder, swinging too early or too late. So here we're going to have Dave kind of get to that good hitting position. You're going to kind of see him load launch. You can kind of see he's good and square. His energy is inside his knees. Okay, and he's going to start rotating with the back hip forward as he turns through. There you go. When I say back hip, I'm talking more of the core and the big muscles of the little legs. Okay, so we're going to kind of load launch. Okay, and we'll do one more time the right way. Good, right here. Now his lower half, his hips are opening up the shoulders as he swings through. Okay, now the, another good gauge here is as he's kind of striding through a little bit. If, if he's torso loading, loading and he's here, he's going to have a tough time keeping his eye on the ball. When you watch a good pro hitter, they do more of a rocking motion with the shoulders as opposed to a torso loading, which kind of turns the head in. And then you know, when you only have uh, less than half a second to time up the ball, you want to have you want to limit your eyes off the ball and too much head movement. So now we get in here, we're going to say we're going to lead with the shoulder as we load through, and we're going to lead with that shoulder. And we're going to kind of pull up a little bit. Okay, and there you go. That's when the head becomes kind of a runaway train on its own. The bat drops, the, the hands cast away, and you have trouble time. You get, you get bat drag as opposed to bat lag, okay? So we're going to do one more time the correct way. It's all focused on that lower half. I'm going to kind of mirror it with them. We get in that lower half, and then you drive it through. And when you get real good at it, you really start torquing through, and then you can modify a little bit. We'll actually throw a ball at them, a couple balls. So he's kind of creating his timing, his knob becomes his barrel, and he gets into those legs and he drives through. Now let's show him the full turn to where your, your, your name and your numbers are on the opposite side of the box where you're getting full torque, full rotation with your hips. Drive through, your head's still on the ball. One more time, get, get down to those legs and fight. There you go, that's the full turn drill.